10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Welcome to the 207th episode of Magnolia Clubhouse Weekly Report. I'm Victoria. And I'm Anthony. We're glad to be back in Cleveland, recovering from the excitement of the two weeks of Olympic coverage. There is a lot going on right here at the clubhouse, though, so let's get to our top story. Hey, Clubhouse, it's Nick here, trying to share an important and exciting opportunity with you. We are going to go to the City of Cleveland's Employment and Success Fair. Two things to do there. Number one, you can participate in the Success Fair and enjoy different services that are going to be offered there by over 250 providers and employers in the community. I'll tell you things like career development workshops, food safety training, expungement services, and more. Um, we will also, the clubhouse will also be there as a vendor for people with disabilities looking for employment and other kind of services like that, as you know we're there for. So again, on August 23rd from 11 to 4 at the Huntington Center, we will be a part of the City of Cleveland's Employment and Success Fair. Please sign up, join us. We'll take both vehicles and take a huge group down there and enjoy ourselves and learn a lot more and make some important connections for the clubhouse and ourselves. Join me then. See you there, clubhouse. That was very informative. I'm looking forward to the resources fair. Thanks uh, for sharing. Speaking about resources and jobs, let's skip over to the Employment and Education Report. Hello, my name is JR. The summer has been cooling down. However, there are plenty of people who are struggling without power. We send positive thoughts to those people. My name, my name is Ray, and thank you for tuning in this week's employment and education update. If you have not noticed, there's been some transitions with units. Employment and education is its own standing unit, and we would like to provide folks with understanding on the different tasks that happens on our unit. Our unit focuses on supporting members around employment and education. For example, if you are interested in looking for work, you can speak to our staff about your goals to or come up to the employment and education unit for assistance. In employment, we support members in finding transitional employment and ongoing employment in the community. Another <clears throat> On the other hand, we support members in education through our scholarship and tutoring program. Members can help tutor others. Members too, and if more support is needed, a staff can provide you with assistance. Now that you understand the role of our unit, let us highlight tasks that happen daily. While reviewing the board twice per day, we coordinate tasks with members and staff alike to help keep the unit operating. Daily work includes sanitizing surface and cleaning, tracking attendance, making reach out calls, mentoring, supporting members with employment and education related tasks such as doing work, mock interviews, resume writing, <clears throat> tutoring and helping track supports. Plus, we have many other tasks available daily. So what are you waiting for? The Employment Education Thank Unit you. would like to recruit you. Come learn more about us in education news. The clubhouse is in process of interviewing members for the scholarship this semester. This is exciting news and good luck to the members who have applied. Last. Join us for our employment and education meeting held every Tuesday at 2 p.m. All members who have vocational goals they would like to pursue, please make plans to attend the meeting. Let us depart with this employment quote. I attribute my success to this. 
I never give or take took any excuse. Florence Nightingale. That is all for now, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Now, now back, to, back to more magnolia news. Thanks for that report. I'm famished. What's on the menu this week? Hi, I'm Malik, and I'm bringing you this week's menu again. Monday, we'll be having stuffed pepper casserole. Tuesday, we'll be having ravioli and red sauce. Wednesday, we'll be having taco salad. Thursday is chipotle bowl. And Friday is grilled cheese with pasta salad and fruit salad. Sounds scrumptious. If you want to share your suggestions for the menu, be sure you come to the hospitality unit menu meetings on Wednesdays after lunch. And for those who may not be aware, we have a cafe in the Western West building next door where the shop used to be, used to be serving delicious coffee, drinks, and homemade baked goods for great good, good prices. It's now time for our weekly standard. Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Dan. And we're here to tell you about the standard of the week. Yes, indeed. Today we're covering standard 21. It reads, the clubhouse enables its members to return to paid work through transitional employment, supportive employment, and independent employment. Therefore, the clubhouse does not provide employment to members through in-house businesses segregated clubhouse enterprises, or sheltered workshops. Sounds like a lot to consider. Please discuss this standard in your unit meetings. All right, everyone. I'm Steven. And I'm Dan. And that was it for your standard of the week. And now back to more news. Thanks for the standard. Please discuss this in your unit meetings. And now for the quote of the week. Good evening, Magnolia Clubhouse. I'm Chris, and here's the quote of the day. If you're working on something that you really care about, you don't have to be pushed. The vision pulls you. Steven, Steve Jobs. Now back to more Clubhouse news at one. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. That was quite a quote. <laughs> I'm curious about the weather. What's this week's forecast? Hi, Jim. I have with your, with your weather report. This week is going to have cooler temperatures in the highs of 70s and a lot of sun. But please make sure you have your wet wing coat for this week. Enjoy the weather for the week. I'm Jeremiah, and that was it for your weather, weather and now I'm back to more news. Thanks for the weather update. Let's find out what the Friday fun day is this week. Ugh, Adazi, why'd you drag me all the way out here? <laughs> Matthew, I love a good scavenger hunt. And I heard the ancient Magnolia Knights buried the first golden pineapple in this temple and it's worth untold riches. Well, I love a good scavenger hunt too, but <laughs> all the way out here in this jungle, you know, we could have just stayed at Magnolia Clubhouse and did that scavenger hunt for, you know, the Friday fun day. <sighs> that scavenger hunt? That's for rookies. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's a chance to know other Clubhouse members, staff, and other units better. It's going to be a lot of fun, really. Well, I want to find some real treasure. I don't have a good feeling about this. See? We found it! I told you we'd find the ancient golden pineapple. Yeah. Do you hear that, actually? Oh, no. uh, let's get to back to the Clubhouse. Like, yesterday? Good idea. That was a close call. For sure. And you know what? I think I dropped the pineapple. Are you serious? <sighs> yeah. Are you serious? I risk my life, we risk our lives for that pineapple. Oopsies, my bad. Sorry, uh, well, you wanna go back to the Magnolia? Um, we may be able to make it back time for the news. Oh boy. Oh, come on! A scavenger hunt sounds like the plan 
Ready or not, here we come. Speaking of fun stuff, what's up in social events? Hey Tia, are you coming for Sundays on Monday at Magnolia Clubhouse? Wait, Sunday or Monday? No, Sunday's on Monday. Wait, Monday or Sunday? Ice cream Sundays on Monday. Oh, ooh, I would love to come and get an ice so cream Sunday. We have so many good things over there. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, be there or be square. Monday, August 12th, and we'll have Sundays on, on Monday. Monday. <laughs> Take surprise. Take surprise. It's so good you won't believe your eyes. Take surprise. Take surprise. Come on Wednesday for a big surprise. Sundays on Monday, followed by baking. Sure sounds like a sweet deal to me. This month's health topic, autoimmune diseases. Here's some information on what it is that is. Hey Clubhouse, Ron here. This month's health topic is autoimmune disease. And I'm going to talk about arthritis. We all know who author is, but if you don't know, I'm going to go into some details. <laughs> Arthritis and other uh, rheumatic diseases cause pain, swelling, and limited movement in joints and connective tissues in the body. So when you got them aches, you know, when you bending over and your back crack and everything, and you know, you hear all that snapping and popping, that's author paying you a visit. No matter what age you is, author going to pay you a visit. Arthritis and other rheumatic diseases can affect people of all ages. They are more common in women than men. Wow, shade to the women, I guess. Symptoms may include pain, stiffness, swelling, warmth, redness in one or more joints. As we all know, no matter how much money you spend, there is no known cure for author. The treatment goal is to limit pain and inflammation and preserve joint function with meds, the two most common forms of author are osteoarthritis. This is the most common type of arthritis. It is a chronic disease of the joints, especially the weight bearing joints of the knee, the hip, the spine, the neck. It destroys the padding on the ends of the bones, the cartilage, and narrows the joint space. It can also cause bone overgrowth, bone spurs, and reduced function. It occurs in most people as they age. It may also occur in young people from an injury or overuse. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease that causes inflammation in the joint linings. The inflammation may affect all the joints. It can also affect organs such as the heart or the lungs. See, often just everywhere. You can't even get away from them. But uh, I've been Ron. This has been your look into author, otherwise known as autoimmune disease. Always talk to your doctor if you have questions or concerns and have a great day. That was interesting. It's good to be informed. Remember, you can talk to our nurse, Melanie, about the health concerns or issues you have. Time for our sports report. Let's go over to the three, two, one, guys. Three, two, one. Welcome to Magnolia Clubhouse Sport, along with Scott and Mohammed and Keith and Lincoln. Guys, we're going to talk about a very important subject today, which is the Cleveland Browns. In 2000, at the end of the 2028 season, the Browns, uh, the Browns tenure with the city of Cleveland will be done. Now, the Haslam's want to build a brand new indoor facility in Brook Park. However, Mayor Justin Bibb wants the Browns to remain in downtown Cleveland. So, I'm going to ask you guys for your opinions on what you think that the Browns should do. We'll start with Mohammed. Mohammed, do you think that the Browns should go to Brook Park or remain in downtown Cleveland and why? I think that the Cleveland Browns should stay in downtown Cleveland. If the stadium moves to Brook Park, then what are we going to do about the Muni lot? Uh, it is a huge tradition in Cleveland due to tailgating downtown, and it sh just won't be the same. You will lose all of that nostalgia. I am also worried about the negative impact it will have on the economy downtown, and what are we going to do 
with the huge empty stadium. The city is looking to update the lakefront and it would be a shame to have an empty stadium in the middle. Scott, I'm going to you. What do you show us? People have more on this and that is it for this edition of Mexico Football 4 Report. Okay, I always like to thank you guys for listening and as we always do. And as I always say, always remember, be a team player each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. We're done. Thanks, Keith and Scott and Muhammad. Let's speed over to our cyber report. Hey, everyone. I'm Matthew, and I'm back with yet another cyber reminder. Today's hot topic is catfishing. No, we're not talking about using fishing poles to catch kitties, people. Catfishing can be defined when someone online fraudulently pretends to be someone else for nefarious purposes. Common examples of this include people who use photos of supermodels and or celebrities instead of their actual selves to try and score a date. To predatory adults pretending to be prepubescent children to lure other kids in. So. Common way to tell if someone is catfishing is to check the username URL to see if it matches a person's account name and or prefer searching photos to see if the portrait or mugshot is a mass use stock photograph or a legitimately uploaded photograph. If you discover that someone is a catfisher, please contact the web administrator and or moderator and report that fraudulent faker. You don't want other unsuspecting people to be prey for that catfisher after all. All right, everyone, I'm Matthew. That was it for your weekly cyber reminder. And now back to more main Magnolia news. Another great report, Matthew. Let's acknowledge this week's birthdays. Happy birthday. Hello, this is Elena with this week's birthdays. Happy birthday to Ron and Bear, whose birthdays are on the 14th. Brando, Denisha, and Jeff B are celebrating on the 16th. Happy birthday to Pasha on the 17th. And finally, happy birthday to Tyler on August 18th. Enjoy celebrating, everyone. Bye. That's all for this week. Thanks to all the contributors to the weekly report. The communications unit, which produces this news program, rejoin us if you are interested in participating. Be sure to check out our Magnolia Clubhouse's Facebook page, X, Instagram, TikTok, and our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed what you've seen this week, then be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and please share these videos and pages with others. Magnoliaclubhouse.org is our official website and we maintain a presence on X, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. I'm Anthony and I'm Victoria. See you next week. See you week. next week. Bye. Bye. Join the club.